Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nat Gas Black Widow. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, today is Black Widow's birthday, Nat Gas. Did you know that that's when she first started trading? Nat Gas? Well, now you know something about natural gas. Uh, I digress. <laughs> you gotta have fun, man. If not, you're gonna, you're gonna miss out on life. What concerns me about Nat Gas? This green bad boy right here. This is an indicator on a trading view that's called gap fill. And sometimes I draw things, but this is like official. So I am looking back in the past, especially when it's below $2, wherever $2 is, and under, when we have a gap fill, did it ever get filled? So I'm looking back. So if you want to join me on that research, go ahead. Look for gaps in the past around a $2 range and down. If you find a gap, see in the future, did it ever go back to fill it up and then go up? That's my dilemma. And that's what I'm researching. Uh, some say, no, you know, sometimes they don't fill and they just continue chucking along and then in the future way in the future they come back and then fill it some of the say yeah you know what they do fill up uh you know maybe not right away but very close or a couple of a month or two or three and then it does what it wants to do so i'll i'm giving you my first homework i never give homework here but i'm giving you on a homework assignment look for gap fills in the past and see if they get filled Let's go into the charts. Oh man, yeah, I was just looking at this. Andrew's pitchfork, four hour chart. Look where Nat Gas kissed. 190. Right at the original Andrew's pitchfork. I went long and got out around, you could say maybe 188. I couldn't get 190. 188, 187 around there. I got out, and now I'm on the sidelines. So I jumped in, thinking what I got to lose. Um, but I'm not going to give my gains back if it has to come down and fill this gap. Because that's the only thing that concerns me. But let's go into uh, you know our normal mode, market profile. So far, value area high is at 185. We pierced it at 190. Volume has been weak. And... The Hekonashi is, uh, is positive, but the trend is still red. We want to see white candles on the weekly. But so far, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. Up, down, up. Question mark, gap fill. Hmm. Let's look at the daily. And you can see that we are above the anchored VWAP from the February 2020 low of 152. And the bears came in aggressive uh, today. You just got a new candle here. So they pushed it all the way up to 190 and then pushed it back down. And maybe this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to gap up, kiss 190, and maybe now it retests somewhere into uh, April. Simple glance chart. Uh, yeah, you know what's looking good. MACD positive on the monthly. That's nice. We've had that negative. I mean, we had a, we had a positive around uh, June of last year. Then we got a little negative on February. But I was telling you guys, February is going to get weak and even March. And it has come to pass. Now... In April, so in theory, seasonality wise is strong. Uh, do we, are we going to get an explosion? Mm, I don't know. Maybe grind higher from here. I know cycles are turning up on uh, the bottoms around here. Maybe there's one more in the future that, you know, just in case this is the fake and then it wants to go up. And we'll, but we'll go over that. 
not in this video, but you know, in future videos. We need to break the mobile ban at 188 and we kissed it at 190 and pulled back. But next week, if we close above 180, that's positive. You're going to see this mobile looking like this green, and that's bullish. You're on the good side of the camp when that happens on the weekly. Uh, looks like it's getting a little toppy on the MACD on the weekly. I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow I start seeing an arrow going down. We uh, battled the uh, 50 SMA and pierced it and now closed below it. So now we're in between the 50 SMA, which is this teal one, and the 20. But the mobiles are positive. They're green. Hekanashis are green. And the trend, uh, the color is white. So it's trending up. So that is good. Can it continue going high? Yeah, this is where I, where I would probably be concerned. It'll probably be around this $199, $2 area because you're right at the linear regression channel from the top end. Let's go into, which I had a surprise, the um, Andrew's Pitchfork. This is the one that I was watching. I was like, you know what? There was two things I was watching. I was watching this and I was watching... Our famous GAN square of 9, 190. Natural resistance, 90 degree, 45, 135. And this is just natural. It's a natural resistance level. And every time numbers go up here or price, it, it has a tough time because it's you're dealing with degree. And on top of that, then you add geometry which I always tell you guys, add your geometry, add your Andrew's pitchfork. Oops, I didn't want to do that, but add your Andrew's pitchfork because it helps. Uh, it's, it's, you're anchoring from key points on natural gas. Three points, the number three, my favorite number, God, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. Three and one, there you go, right there, 190, boom, push back. Here, it pierced it, pulled back, kind of found support at this one, the uh, modify shift, and then exploded up, hit here, and pulled back, and now the trend is kind of red. Let's see if this 25% level holds. Uh, nothing really showed up on the uh, GAN grid. As you can see, that sometimes you need to have more things to look at. This is the GAN grid, the uh, one by three is up here. But you got the impulse uh, level, which is $1.79. So if it's going to pull back, it, hopefully maybe this holds right here. But really, I don't really want it to hold there. You know why? Because I don't want this thing to get filled if it's going to do that. And if it does, you know what's the good thing about this getting filled is if you haven't gotten in and this has to get filled, this is going to be your last line or hope to get filled before it gets to uh, at least... I mean, if it holds here at 169, what is that, 165, or if it wants to go lower uh, to that 144 level that I've always been mentioning. Midpoint chart. Let's look at the midpoint chart. So you know what? I've been looking at this, my timing points from this uh, low. And so far, this 3.7, which is the one uh, fourth, worked out well, pulled in. The two, one third it just kind of went sideways from here. This was the halfway point, and we got came down. Change of contract right here. We got that gap, kind of went sideways. Uh, the two third, we got this explosion, uh, like a bull kicker, what I call. Kind of here get toppy. Uh, now we're very thin, and the seventh we have the uh, three fourth. But in reality, it's four five. Uh, Friday, and then 4A, which is Monday. So the 7th, it's, it's a Saturday. So, I mean, but that's just the way it is. It's either Friday or uh, uh, Monday, whatever's going to happen. And I know statistically on the calendar, Friday is a big bullish day. So just keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Could it not play out and maybe reverse on Friday? I don't know. We'll see. But statistically, it's a very bullish day. We're above the uh, point of control on the uh, monthly, which is $1.79. So that's good. You can see right here, this kind of like uh, the 50% from last month is right here. $1.84. $1.84. So right now here, we're $1.80. So that's good. 
uh, on the week, we held uh, one a dollar seventy nine, so that's good. Uh, this is where I got in. All right, this uh, low. I was like, you know what? Uh, if this holds and I get a buy signal, I'm gonna go long. And from here, I got in. And uh, was it? Yeah, it was here. Yeah. So let's see if this uh, if it's gonna retest it and fail, or if it's gonna go down and push. Uh, I personally wanted to go down here and fill this gap so we could get it done. But that's me. And for tomorrow. Let's see, that anything up here? Last uh, target would be $1.95 up here. So it could do this. Uh, and it could continue. I'm not going to say it's not, but this is the last target for the week. Anything above that, it's like super overextended and super bullish. But these are your key levels. And for, uh, what is it, tomorrow, today's, what, Thursday. Uh, Thursday, your midpoint is $1.87. So if it's going to go up, at least get above $1.87. Targets $1.90, $1.92, and $1.94, April 14 low. But for some reason, it can't get up there, or if it does, it kisses $1.90, like a fail new high. And then it starts going down, uh, it needs to take out $1.87. If it does... 184, 182, and 180 to the downside for tomorrow, which is Thursday. And I think that's it. Lastly, the square nine, this is where we stall. That's where I got out somewhere around here because I couldn't get it filled. And now I'm on the sideline and we're hovering around 184 right here, 183, 45 degree. Uh, but it's going to push. Maybe 176, and maybe or maybe just oscillate from here to here, 190 to 183. But if they're gonna push 176 to 183, and if they're really gonna push, uh, it's probably go to 169. If we're gonna get this gap fill right here, that's 162. Unfortunately, 162, if we're going to get a gap fill, uh, 162, that'll be somewhere around right here in this area. 162. Yeah, it's going to. It's going to get all the way past this on the on the today or tomorrow's. You will have to look at. Yep, right here. So we'll see how that's going to play out. Uh, but other than that, hopefully uh, you like this video. Let me know your comments. Gap fill. Yes. No. Uh, and let's see uh, what tomorrow brings us. Have a good day. And I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on that gas.